now at nine, fists flying at a Haverhill school. Several students now facing charges. It's a story you'll see on just one station. A flood of trouble, a storm leaving parts of Massachusetts underwater. That wet weather is now gone. I'll let you know it's in store for the weekend. Then, finally free. This is a monumental day. The big break for Britney Spears. On just one station, an anti-vaccine protester accused of trying to intimidate people getting their shots. And the Patriots gearing up for a battle with the Browns, where both teams could be shorthanded at a key position. 7 News at 9 starts now. First here at 9 o'clock, a story you'll see on just one station. Cafeteria chaos at a school in Haverhill. A massive fight breaking out during lunch. A staff member was injured. Well, the superintendent says seven students are now facing charges. 19's Michael Yoshida is live in Haverhill with a story you'll only see here. Michael. It was earlier this week during lunch when that large fight broke out here at Haverhill High School. Now the superintendent telling us that as a result of this massive brawl, several students are now facing charges. Cafeteria chaos at Haverhill High School on Wednesday. In this cell phone video, you see punches being thrown with students fighting on top of each other as staff try to break up the brawl. The superintendent says seven students are now facing charges. And it seems like fights are breaking out all over the place. You hear about them in all different schools now, and they're getting bigger and bigger. We're told the violence broke out during lunch. School resource officers, security, and staff were there and quickly worked to pull the students apart. One staff member was hit during the fight and had to be taken care of by the school's nurse. This woman says her sons, a senior and a freshman, weren't at school the day of the fight but heard all about it. They said it was a large number of, of uh, kids that were involved and five to six police officers were um, sent over to the school. So it was a really scary situation. Friday, the superintendent sending seven news a statement saying in part, similar to schools across the state and nation, HHS continues to support and when needed discipline our students who are having a good deal of difficulty readjusting after 18 months of COVID restrictions and limited in-person schooling. We will respond to our students with swift and fair discipline as well as support and compassion. Teachers are getting hurt, principals are getting hurt. Um, definitely something needs to be done. I'm not sure what the answer is, but whatever it is, I really feel like somebody needs to do something. And we're told that the school and appropriate authorities are continuing to investigate, meeting with students, staff, and families as they continue to investigate each allegation involved in this fight. Live in Haverhill tonight, Mike Rashida, 7 News 19. And we're following breaking news. Uh, news. Police are on the scene at a gun range in Everett. The night team's Alex DePrado joining us live with more breaking details. Well, Johnny on police here on the scene tonight. They are uh, investigating after someone was injured in a shooting here at Boston Firearms in Everett tonight. We'll take you right to the video. You can see those police and firefighters as well as the paramedics on the scene here on Bow Street. A man was taken to the hospital after being injured. There is a range here at Boston Firearms and classes are also held in the building. I just talked to a detective and he told me this is not a criminal matter, but an investigation is underway. Detectives are looking at video and talking to witnesses to determine exactly what happened here. There are other businesses here in this area, including a brewery. Those businesses remain open tonight as police continue their investigation. We're live in Everett. I'm Alex DiPrato, 7 News 19.